We've got NBA basketball in store for you here at Chase Center in San Francisco, the home of the Warriors on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brett Berry. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. Looking at Boston, they want to turn it around after the loss to Toronto. And just couldn't finish strong. They took a four-point loss in that one. Yeah, you, you could see they were pressing in that one, and the shooting percentages dipped because of it. Now, I'll say anytime you're having trouble getting over that 40% field goal mark, it's probably not going to be your night. Boston basketball. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Brown outside. Six on the shot clock. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. You know, Greg, when you look at these rosters, both teams have lots of quality players and very deep benches. And with the pace we see in games, it really helps to have more legs to run. Each of these coaches have a lot of options, so it'll be interesting to see how they play the matchups. And the dunk by Tatum. A huge fan of how Tatum runs the floor. It's almost a lost art. Uh, terrific when he's in attack mode, in transition, putting a lot of pressure on that defense. Master Wiggins. And it's Wiggins with the jam. Quick into the air. Andrew Wiggins up and throws it down. And it's smart with the ball for the Boston Celtics. It's a three-point game. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Good and smart gets the assist. Tatum's got five points so far. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Here's Looney. Wiggins outside. Golden State moving the ball around. Nail. From three-point land. Thompson's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Warriors. We saw Andrew Wiggins take a big step forward when he went to Golden State in 2020. A lot of people think that's a subtle change, but I actually think it's a lot bigger. When you get a player of Andrew Wiggins' caliber who is born to score, and you adjust some of the shot selection and how offensively he's staying engaged. That's a big difference both physically and mentally. It's been a big uptick for him along with his defensive presence. On the wing, Thompson. Oh, good on the triple. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Brown, good. And you got to respect how accomplished Brown is down low, destroying whoever is in his way. Hurry from deep three-point land. From beyond the arc and then some. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Now, here's Brown. He had 25 points last game. Pass to Williams. And finished off by Williams. An unreal athlete. Williams gets off the floor with such ease to power it down. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Well, Kevin, Steve Kerr gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. He's looking for his guys to put up a terrific performance tonight, especially at the defensive end. He said, we want to use our length and athleticism to protect the rim, make it hard for shooters to get clean looks. This is the first meeting of the season between these two. Guys, we'll see how it comes out. Well, David, thank you. We'll be looking for the defensive-minded approach coming in, Greg. I like that they're focused on getting stops. Gives them the opportunity to turn that defense into offense. And let's see how good they can be in transition to get out and try to find some easy ones. And the Celtics making a change here. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Warriors? We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. 
let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. Here's Curry following the basket by Al Horford. Out to Thompson. There's the three. The rebound by the Celtics. They're getting their first look of the season at the Warriors in this one. It's not often we get to see this matchup, but it is a doozy when we do. Just two powerhouse teams facing over here. Well, if I had a calendar, I would have circled this one. But I love it when they get together. Last year, they split the two games between them, and I'll bet their battles are just as tightly contested this year. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Vincenzo. Out left to the wing. Pass to Poole. From deep. Rebound by Williams. Right side, Griffin. Outside, Smart. Here's Griffin. And he converts the layup. Uh, Blake Griffin is still very very strong and that solid foundation and base is helping him on the inside. Tonight's first quarter of play. We've seen plenty of offense so far. Celtics out in front. Up. 17. game here after one quarter of play and guys let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Celtics so far they've moved the ball well leading to open high percentage looks lots of assists in this one well a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint all those inside looks those are paying off for Malcolm Brockton, he comes from a family, Greg, where education comes first. And well, Malcolm earning his degree plus a master's while in college, his dad and brother lawyers, his mom involved in higher education, Brockton may be the smartest guy in the NBA. That's pretty much not how they would defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. As to Looney, it's three outside. It's hauled in by Brockton. Man, you get so caught up in the bravado of someone scoring on you and you wanting to even the score. Unfortunately, he couldn't answer back. Perfect. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Out to Thompson. Off the run. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Thompson's got nine. Talk about playing to your strengths. Getting Thompson a look from the corner, that's as bankable as almost any play you can call. Now Brogdon. And you can see his scoring totals. Those are some pretty good numbers. He's putting up close to 15 points a game on average. Shot clock at two. And here's Tatum for three. Tatum with another miss. Curry on the wing. Back to Thompson. Outside for Curry. Thompson outside. Pass to Wiggins. Off target from three-point range. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. Nice ball movement by Boston. Smart misses. Warriors trailed by five. 
And one thing that stands out about this Celtics unit, their defensive abilities. That they've got a lot of skill on that end of the floor. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Now, Marcus Smart is not shy with his philosophy. He says it takes little talent to play defense, but a whole lot of want to. Get every 50-50 ball, take charge. be a great teammate compete never be okay with losing and Kevin he has always walked the walk too he has defensive player of the year he's a terrific player no question about it David thank you you're right defense it's been terrific for him. this Boston team GA certainly has a talent for holding back their opponent's shots and really defending well and Kevin they put a lot of energy into pressuring shooters making sure guys can't find easy looks they don't want to give away anything for free remember when big men shooting threes were as rare as a Sasquatch and now those big guys are everywhere Thompson in the corner a three ball unable to get that one now the Celtics take it the other way and they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. Back to Williams. Pass to White. Tatum on the wing. Here's the three. Iman Green with the rebound. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And stolen by White. Now Brown, he's covered by Thompson. And it's Brown missing. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. And as good as Draymond Green has been on the floor, well, this guy will be an all-time broadcaster, already a popular podcast. Great TV studio appearances as well. And Draymond Green, the next broadcasting star. You've watched his work. Why is that? And Kevin, I think his basketball IQ is incredible. And we see that when he plays, but he can also vocalize it to the audience. And of course, Draymond is not afraid to say what he thinks. Pocket six at the elbow, Williams. The Warriors pull it in. After this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for him. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. So we'll see Jordan Poole go to the line here. That's on Malcolm Brogdon. Well, Draymond's IQ on the defensive end is so high level. I think that's going to be a huge advantage with him as an analyst because he's going to talk to you from a perspective you don't much hear from. Usually it's from guys who score a lot of points in the NBA, but what he did defensively, he could communicate that quite well. Checking in for the Celtics. And the Celtics making a change here. You gotta take your time. You don't give them another possession. And hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. Williams with a clean look. Hits the three-point bomb. Williams has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. And so it's Boston. Holding on to an eight-point lead, heading into the break. The one goal they had coming in.
this game was to not let Curry beat them. And so far, their defense on Steph has been tremendous. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Brogdon with it. To the inside. Tatum. And he slams it down right on top of Jermichael Green. I tell you what, don't sleep on Tatum. He has some ups. And I love seeing him trying to electrify the crowd. And the wide open shot from DiVincenzo. Buries the long range jumper. And he's not going to miss those very often, even from deep. The D has to close out a little stronger on him. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Brent, it's been well documented. Three point shooting is at an all time high. Do you see this trend ending anytime soon? I don't think so, Kevin, but there will be a tipping point as to how many you can actually shoot. And we've seen a, a team do that where they've shot over 50 attempts per game uh, for a season, which I don't think is going to happen again. But young guys coming up are practicing this shot. They're going to be better suited, better equipped, and more talented to make them. So the three-pointer is going nowhere, Kevin. Over to the left wing. Some nice ball movement here by the Celtics. And it's Brown missing. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. Trailing by 10. Fires it up. And it's Griffin with the rebound. Now the defense better tighten up on the mid-range there. Much, much tighter. You expect him to make every single one of those. Yeah, nice play by Smart. Under control and transition. Something also he's improved at. Austin leading by 12. Just thinking aloud about the best teams of my lifetime, that 2017 Warriors are way up there. That first year, KD was with Golden State. Here's Horford. Launches it. And the Celtics hit again from deep. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. And the title-winning 2017 Warriors, Brent Berry, what made them special? Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green. I mean, all these guys in their prime, Kevin, but to me, it's what Steve created there stylistically. The fact that they played with so much freedom, so much enjoyment. You don't see that all that often. So the Warriors reaching the crown with that kind of consistency and character, that's what made